Hi guys, you found Can't Stop Writing with Carol Alwood. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to make text pop up in your video and also stickers and animated stickers. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to highlight a Bookstagrammer of the week and give you another Bookstagram tip. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into Canva and you're going to start a new project. If you choose YouTube thumbnail, it'll be the correct size for your video. Once you choose YouTube thumbnail, go ahead and select green for the background color. Next, you need to decide what elements you want to have pop up over the top of your video. To make text pop up, put text on the screen. Next, you're going to want to duplicate your screen so that you can add another element. Next, I'm going to add an element that will pop up. Now you can choose what type of animation you want. In Canva, there are free options and there are Canva Pro options. And I'm going to go ahead and animate each of the items. Once you've chosen the animation for your text and your elements, you want to decide how long each of them will last in your video. Once you decide how long you want each element to last, you can test out what it looks like by pressing play. And if you don't like how long each item lasts, you can play around with it. Just go back into the project and you can adjust the seconds again. Once you have everything how you like it, download the video and give your video a name so you can identify it when you want to import it into your movie making software. The first thing you want to do is import the video and then you're going to drop it over top of your video file. You need to select green screen. And now I'll play it to show you what it looks like. Those are the steps to using Canva to make text and images pop up over your video. I hope this information was helpful to you. If you liked this information, subscribe for more tips like these. And this week, I'd like to highlight the Bookstagrammer whose name is Amanda Skinnendorf. Take a look at some of the examples of the Bookstagrams she posted. Sometimes readers think they need complicated sets to really post a good Bookstagram, but these are lovely in their simplicity. And I'm going to try her strategy this week of just finding a really cute nook outdoors. One thing that's so great about photographing a book outdoors is the light is great and nature has so many textures and colors already that can complement your book. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Come back next Wednesday for more tips like these and we'll see you next time. Bye.